Partial opioid agonists include a variety of drugs that act as analgesics for pain management. Because these drugs activate opioid receptors to a lesser extent than full agonists, they can also be used to help wean patients off of opioids. Let's explore a visual mnemonic to help you remember the characteristics and uses of these drugs. This couple is building their dream home, DIY style. With so much construction to do, it's important to start the day with an energy-filled breakfast. Check out this poppy seed muffin that the wife is holding. Since there's one muffin to share, she split it in half and gave some to her husband. By the way, this poppy seed muffin is our recurring symbol for opioids. Because opioids and opium originally came from the poppy plant, right? Then, this half of the poppy seed muffin, or a partial poppy seed muffin, should help you remember partial opioid agonists. Like full opioid agonists, partial opioid agonists activate opioid receptors. However, these drugs also have a relatively low intrinsic activity, activating opioid receptors to a lesser extent than full agonists. Essentially, partial opioid agonists are weak opioid agents. As a bonus, the mu in muffin can remind you that these drugs activate the mu opioid receptors. Muffin for mu, right? Mu receptors cause analgesia, sedation, and several other well-known opioid effects. Now that we've set down the foundations, let's explore our scene to learn some important drug names of partial opioid agonists to remember for the exam. Watch the full version of this video and learn more about this topic by clicking above the left arrow. Click above the right arrow or visit pixarize.com to explore other topics we cover in videos similar to this one.